That's what engineers at Sierra Space called their breakthrough. And it might just be the key to unlocking regular space travel. In an industry where every gram of weight and every degree of temperature matters, they've achieved something remarkable. Something that even Elon Musk acknowledged as one of spaceflight's greatest challenges. Picture this, it's re-entry. Your spacecraft is hurtling through the atmosphere at Mach 17. That's a blistering 13,000 miles per hour. The temperature outside? A scorching 3,100 degrees Fahrenheit. Most materials would simply melt away, but not this one. In Louisville, a team of determined engineers has spent over three decades perfecting what could be the holy grail of space technology, a truly reusable heat shield. While others focused on building bigger rockets, this team took a different approach. They looked at NASA's space shuttle program, its triumphs and its tragedies, and asked themselves, how can we make this better? The result? A revolutionary patent-pending technology that could transform space travel from an occasional spectacular event into something as routine as air travel. This isn't just about making spacecraft reusable, it's about making them rapidly reusable, cutting the turnaround time from months to mere days. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest breakthroughs in space technology. Let's dive right in. The story of Sierra Space's breakthrough begins where another story ended, at Kennedy Space Center's iconic landing strip. For years, this three-mile stretch of concrete fell silent after the Space Shuttle's retirement in 2011. The thunder of returning orbiters, once a symbol of America's space prowess, became a memory. But sometimes the best innovations come from learning from the past rather than abandoning it entirely. When Sierra Space's engineers first proposed bringing back the space plane concept, skeptics were quick to point out the Space Shuttle's flaws. It's a relic, they said too expensive, too dangerous, too complex. They weren't entirely wrong. The space shuttle, magnificent as it was, had its share of tragedies. Each orbiter was meant to fly 100 missions, but none came close to that goal. The thermal protection system, those iconic black and white tiles, proved to be the program's Achilles heel. But the team in Louisville saw something different. They saw potential. Where others saw outdated technology, they saw a foundation to build upon, a chance to solve what Elon Musk himself called the hardest problem in spacecraft design. The Dream Chaser's development story reads like a detective novel with engineers methodically addressing each flaw in the original shuttle design. The first breakthrough came with the tiles themselves. Instead of using the shuttle's smaller six by six inch tiles, they opted for larger 10 by 10 inch panels. This wasn't just about using fewer tiles, it was about reducing potential failure points. Each seam between tiles represented a vulnerability, a place where superheated plasma could potentially find its way through during re-entry. But size was just the beginning. Working in collaboration with the Department of Energy's Oak Ridge National Laboratory, Sierra Space's engineers made a discovery that would change everything. Deep in their research, they found something unexpected, a unique crystalline structure that formed when silicon carbide was combined with carbon fibers under specific conditions. This wasn't just another incremental improvement. It was a complete paradigm shift in thermal protection technology. The new material proved to be as strong as carbon fiber, but with the temperature resistance of ceramics. Think about that for a moment. They created something with the durability of modern aircraft materials, but capable of withstanding temperatures that would melt steel. This discovery wasn't just a scientific breakthrough. It was the key to making space travel more like air travel. The testing phase brought its own drama. At NASA's Arc Jet Complex, the new tiles faced their trial by fire, literally. The facility simulates the brutal conditions of atmospheric re-entry, where temperatures soar past 3,100 degrees Fahrenheit. Traditional materials would deteriorate or fail entirely under these conditions. But the new tiles didn't just survive, they thrived. Test after test, they maintained their integrity, their shape, their protective capabilities. This durability translated into something unprecedented, the ability to fly at least 15 missions per year. Compare that to the Space Shuttle's average of five missions annually. The Dream Chaser team had created something that could potentially triple the flight rate while reducing maintenance time between missions. The implications for commercial space operations are staggering. 
But the true genius of Sierra Space's approach lies in the details of their bonding system. Remember those falling tiles that plagued the early shuttle missions? The Dream Chaser team solved this with a room temperature vulcanizing RTV silicone system that keeps the tiles permanently bonded to the vehicle. It's a simple solution to a complex problem, but sometimes that's where true innovation lies. The Dream Chaser's first vehicle, christened Tenacity, embodies this philosophy of practical innovation. Though smaller than the space shuttle, about a quarter of its length, it's designed to carry up to five tons of pressurized cargo and 0.5 tons of unpressurized payload to the International Space Station. More importantly, it can bring back two tons of cargo, including delicate scientific experiments that benefit from its gentle re-entry profile. Inside Tenacity, the innovation continues. Before the avionics installation, visitors might have been surprised to see what looked like gold leaf lining the walls. This isn't decorative. It's a sophisticated aluminum foil composite that prevents oxygen leakage and maintains cabin pressure. It's yet another example of how Sierra Space's engineers have found elegant solutions to complex problems. The Dream Chaser's cargo configuration might seem modest compared to some competitors. SpaceX's Cargo Dragon, for instance, can carry over six tons. But the Dream Chaser team isn't just thinking about capacity, they're thinking about versatility. The space plane's design allows it to land on conventional runways, making it more accessible and potentially more cost-effective in the long run. What makes this achievement even more remarkable is its timing. As we enter the second quarter of the 21st century, the space industry stands at a crossroads. Launch frequency is increasing exponentially, driven by commercial demand and scientific necessity. The old model of expendable spacecraft simply isn't sustainable. Sierra Space's breakthrough in thermal protection technology isn't just about making spacecraft reusable, it's about making them practical for regular, frequent use. The impact of this technology extends far beyond low Earth orbit. As humanity looks toward lunar bases and Mars missions, the ability to protect spacecraft during atmospheric entry becomes even more crucial. The lessons learned from developing these advanced thermal protection systems could prove invaluable for future deep space missions. Sierra Space's achievement represents more than just technological innovation. It's a testament to the power of perseverance. For three decades, their engineers refused to accept the conventional wisdom that said fully reusable heat shields were impossible. They kept pushing, kept experimenting, kept failing, and kept learning. Now, as their first dream chaser prepares for its maiden voyage to the International Space Station, scheduled for 2025, they stand on the verge of proving that sometimes the best way forward is to look back, learn, and reimagine what's possible. The resurrection of the Kennedy Space Center runway isn't just about bringing back a piece of space history, it's about writing the next chapter in human spaceflight. Every detail of the Dream Chaser, from its advanced thermal protection system to its versatile cargo capabilities, has been designed with one goal in mind, making space more accessible, more routine, and more sustainable. As we watch this story unfold, we're witnessing more than just the development of new technology. We're seeing the evolution of our relationship with space itself. The Dream Chaser, with its revolutionary heat shield, represents a future where space travel isn't just for the few and the daring, but for the many and the practical. A future where the sound of spacecraft landing at Kennedy Space Center isn't an occasional event, but a regular occurrence, as common as airplanes touching down at any major airport. As Dream Chaser prepares for its first flight in 2025, we're witnessing more than just another spacecraft launch. We're seeing the rebirth of a dream that began with the space shuttle program. Sierra Space has taken what many considered impossible and turned it into reality. Through innovative engineering and unwavering determination, they've created a heat shield that doesn't just protect, it revolutionizes. This breakthrough reminds us that in the realm of space exploration, there are no dead ends, only opportunities for innovation. What Elon Musk called impossible has become possible, opening new doors for commercial space flight and bringing us one step closer to making space travel as routine as air travel. The Dream Chaser story isn't just about advanced materials or engineering prowess, it's about human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress. 
As we continue to push the boundaries of space exploration, breakthroughs like this will pave the way for humanity's next giant leap. If you found this deep dive into space innovation fascinating, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours for more cutting edge space technology updates. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What other impossible space challenges do you think we'll solve next? Until our next adventure in space technology, this is Elon Musk 24 hours. Keep reaching for the stars. The dawn of commercial space stations is here, and SpaceX is leading the charge. In just a few months, the legendary Falcon 9 rocket will embark on one of its most ambitious missions yet, launching the world's first commercial space station, Haven 1. This isn't just another satellite deployment or cargo run. This is the moment private enterprise takes its biggest step toward making space accessible to more than just government astronauts. The story begins in the heart of California, where a bold startup called Vast has spent the last four years meticulously crafting something extraordinary. While the aging International Space Station enters its twilight years, Vast and SpaceX have been quietly revolutionizing what a space station can be. They're not just building a replacement, they're reimagining human presence in orbit. Today, we're taking you behind the scenes of this groundbreaking project. You'll discover how a small team of visionaries is transforming space station design from its luxurious interior that rivals high-end hotels to breakthrough technology that could change how we live and work in space. And with the launch window opening in August 2025, we're closer than ever to seeing this dream become reality. Hi everyone, welcome back to Elon Musk 24 Hours. If you're new here and want to stay updated on the biggest developments in commercial space, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 100,000 subscribers and your support means everything to us. Let's dive right in. In the sprawling industrial heart of Long Beach, California, something revolutionary is taking shape. Inside Vast's manufacturing facility, skilled technicians work around the clock, their precision tools crafting the components that will become humanity's first commercial home among the stars. The primary structure of Haven 1 isn't just another piece of aerospace hardware, it's the foundation of a new era in space exploration. Just last month, on a crisp January morning in Mojave, California, the team achieved a crucial milestone. The qualification unit of Haven 1 arrived at the test site, a full-scale replica that would prove the station's ability to withstand the brutal forces of launch and the harsh reality of space. Each weld, each joint, each connection must be perfect. There's no room for error when you're building humanity's future home in orbit. But Haven 1 is more than just a feat of engineering. This is where vast vision truly shines. Gone are the sterile, utilitarian interiors we've come to expect from space stations. Instead, picture warm maplewood veneer panels lining the walls, creating an atmosphere that feels more like a luxury sky lodge than a scientific outpost. At the heart of the station, a stunning dome window stretches over a meter wide, offering astronauts an unparalleled view of our blue marble below. Drew Fusel, a veteran astronaut who's commanded the ISS, has been instrumental in shaping Haven 1's design. Having spent countless nights in space, he understands better than most the challenges of living in zero gravity. Sleep is everything up there, Fusel explains, and while floating weightless feels amazing at first, your body craves that earthly comfort of pressure against your back. That's why Vast developed a revolutionary sleep system, a queen-size bed that uses carefully calibrated pressure to simulate the feeling of gravity, helping astronauts get the rest they need to perform at their best. The station's common area is where science meets luxury. In a space spanning 24 cubic meters, about a quarter the size of the ISS's destiny module, Crews will find thoughtful touches that make extended stays not just bearable, but enjoyable. A retractable table transforms from a workstation to a dining area, while the resistance band exercise system ensures astronauts can maintain their strength in microgravity. And thanks to SpaceX's Starlink system, astronauts will stay connected to loved ones back on Earth with high-speed internet access. But make no mistake, beneath its luxurious exterior, 
Haven One is first and foremost a scientific platform. 10 research lockers stand ready to host experiments that could unlock new discoveries in fields from medicine to material science. While the station can accommodate four astronauts, it's designed to operate autonomously for most of its three-year lifespan, controlled by VAST's Mission Control Center in Long Beach. This efficiency is crucial, as Haven 1 relies on visiting SpaceX Dragon spacecraft to manage life support during its planned 40 days of crewed operations. The partnership between VAST and SpaceX is a match made in the heavens. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket has proven itself time and time again, achieving an astounding 